salamanders. We know we have spotted salamanders. It's likely we have marbled salamanders. If you saw, if you were at the booth yesterday, Donna had a marbled salamander. They're smaller, uh, dark with white spots on it. We haven't done a survey in the fall to see if there's any spotted salamanders here. But these are uh, these are these are endangered wetlands because it varies by state as to how, how wetlands are classified. Because they're not they're generally not seen as uh, as important, but they are very important to to, to forest health and. E the ecosystem as a whole, and nutrient cycling, and, and all, all that stuff. Uh, we had a we had a uh, one of the experts in the state come here two years ago, and uh, we did some soil testing here. And the soil out there is uh, we went down about this far, and it's black. What that means is it's it's in anaerobic conditions. Oxygen is not getting there, and that means it's been here for a long time. And Mike, his name is Mike Hazel. He called it ancient, an ancient <coughs> vernal pool. I'm not sure how what he means, but it just means it's been here a long time. And so this vernal pool has been has been uh, a habitat for for salamanders and fairy shrimp and uh, other things for for a long time. And so salamanders are part of the nutrient cycling eating eating other critters so they don't get you don't get too many uh, like say termites or too many worms and things keeps things keeps things in balance and so uh, a lot of uh, places will will just uh, put drainage tiles in or fill these or fill these things in when they want to develop it. But the, the Luxton people have decided this piece here is is set aside. They're not going to develop around her. I don't know what their I don't know what their buffer is around it. But um, but like we we did a study. There's a, there's at least they at least go out uh, a few hundred yards. If not more from these from these runnel pools, so. but we so we'll, we we can walk down here. There's still some water in here. Last we have a we have a gauge out there at a right about the deepest part. And uh, when Ben and I were out here in in uh, February, March, when, in that one night and it was raining, it was like 19 inches deep. Last Saturday it was it was uh, 17 and a half inches deep. But so this is a vernal pool that stays wet. There's a couple of key things here. If you if you stand in here and you look here, Jay, don't get wet. And then you look look back to where the sign is on the other side of the trail. You can see a difference. You can see how mu how much stuff is growing in here versus over there. And that's because it's wet. The low stuff is again these high bush blueberry and the green briar, which has the which has the vines on it. Where are the salamanders? The salamanders are floating around in there. They're, they're probably only about this big at this at right now, uh, but they're but they're they're down low and hiding. So he's got a net. He's he might be able to catch them, but I, I'm not sure if we can do it today. Not so far. Not so far. He's looking for one. Uh, but they, they come here and they lay their eggs. 